Mr. Altaf Jivani is a CFO at Wellspun India. They're joining in to talk a little bit more about the quarter gone by. Thanks so much for uh, taking time out and being with us on ET Now. To begin with, your top line growth as well as your profits have come in lower for the quarter gone by. What exactly, sir, would you attribute this to? Thank you for having me here. During FY18, our top line has been 6,132 crores uh, and a uh, EBITDA margin of 1,205 crores, which is 19.65%, which is in line with our uh, guidance, which we had given at the beginning of the year. And during the year, actually FY19, we saw retail business growing about 19%. So all our investments which we have been making in the B2C business has started showing results. So in both in Christie as well, in UK, we have seen almost 71% growth in the e-commerce and we, we are seeing the, uh, our investment in innovation as well. So we added three more new innovations, uh, unique innovations in our portfolio. So today we have almost 30 innovations in our portfolio. And the revenue coming out of our innovative products is almost 37% now. And 16% of revenue comes from the, 17% uh, comes from the branded products. So this is, this is actually, uh, we have seen our kind of headwinds which were there in the, uh, in the last financial year, uh, which was most of the retailers uh, who were destocking. Now we are seeing very strong signs of revival which is happening. So US which is the largest market for us, we are seeing a substantial improvement in the, uh, uptake, in the offtake from them. And the second headwind which was about appreciation, uh, rupee which was appreciating has suddenly now uh, started depreciating. So, uh, but Mr. Jivani, that's not which, really uh, been reflected in this quarter. I know you're talking about all of those, you know, worries when it came to destocking, etc., easing, US doing well. But I'm looking at your quarterly numbers and your sales are down 13%. Your profits have come in lower by uh, 43%. Margins too have contracted. So on a quarterly basis, are you saying that all of these effects will kick in next quarter? Yeah, so the, see the destocking impact has been transitory and it uh, went on almost for three quarters and therefore, and we had a couple of uh, new rollouts uh, which happened in the last year in the uh, Q4 and that's the reason we see this kind of uh, uh, drop in the revenue. But we are seeing, uh, if you see sequentially uh, in uh, Q4, we are already up by 8.5% uh, compared to Q3. So we are seeing the signs of uh, growth uh, coming back from the US market and we see a very promising uh, future actually in the domestic business. So domestic business, we have, we have invested uh, like uh, overall, we have almost spent around 60 crores in the brand building exercise between US and uh, uh, UK as well. So a lot of these in investments which are actually going to give us returns in future has already come into our EBITDA margin. So 19.65 EBITDA margin is actually after taking a hit of almost 1% on the uh, top line. And um, you had also gone ahead and set up in, uh, you know, your arm, uh, U.S. arm to invest in e-commerce uh, companies in the U.S., etc. What is the update on that front? Yeah, so we have uh, invested about uh, uh, close to uh, $6 million in the U.S. Uh, for uh, various uh, startups. So these are uh, minor, significant minority shares uh, in those in, uh, uh, startups where we believe we can synergize uh, and uh, take advantage in the e-commerce uh, uh, channel. So for us, e-commerce is a kind of omni-channel strategy. But going forward, we believe currently there's about 10% of the home textile revenue which comes from uh, e-commerce. We believe that is that can grow to about 25% in next five years. And therefore, we are actually keeping uh, the organization ready to take advantage of those e-commerce uh, channel. The other thing which I would like to add here is that our own uh, right. e-commerce revenue from Christie uh, is evident, uh, the sure. power of brand. So 10% of our revenue is coming out of uh, e-commerce in the UK. And we'll chat with the you when there are more details on I'd that like front. Thank you so much, sir, for joining in and giving us a view on the quarter gone by.